This video is all about Etsy keyword research. I'm going to show you how to find keywords for your Etsy listings. I'm also going to show you how to write an optimized Etsy listing title and how to find winning tags. Now the Etsy SEO and keyword research tool that I'll be using in this tutorial is called Sales Samurai. If you want 20% off their plans, I will leave the link and the code for that in the description area below. Now your keywords, your title, your tags, they are crucial to making sales on Etsy. So let's get started. Okay, so once you have created a Sales Samurai account and you have logged in, you're going to be brought to this page here. So on this page, you can see there is a bunch of video tutorials on how to best use Sales Samurai. So I highly recommend when you have some free time to actually go through and watch these videos. Now, the very first thing I highly recommend you do is to actually install the Chrome extension. So if we head up to the top here where it says Chrome, Chrome extension, you want to add that on and I'm gonna show you why. So if we head into Etsy here and you have that extension installed, whatever it is that you uh, wanna sell or you wanna do some research on, you just type it in. So I will do ebook cover template, for example, and you can see the search volume there. So there's over 2,300 people searching for this um, monthly. So that tells me this is something that is obviously, you know, a great product to consider making and selling. So that is why it's really handy to actually have this extension tool installed. Okay, so the main areas that we'll be using in Sales Samurai uh, for today's tutorial will be within search. So we're going to be searching, um, you know, our keywords. We're going to be, you know, I'm really, you know, I'm, a, I'm going to also take you through how to write that strong title and I'll show you how to actually find some winning tags for you to add into your listing so that you have a greater chance of your listings showing up in the Etsy search. So we go to search and whatever it is that you want to sell, you just type it in here under basic search. So for now, we're going to do basic search and then later on, I'll show you single listing search. So type in what you want to sell. So for example, for this tutorial, we're going to do ebook cover template. And then you're going to hit search. And sometimes it might take a, a while to actually gather all the information and data from Etsy. So you've just got to be patient. Okay. Once it has finished doing its search, it's, you're going to be shown all this information here. So I'll try and break, break this all down um, in the easiest possible way because I know it can be quite overwhelming. So I'm only just going to focus on the main things that I think you should know, uh, especially within Sales Samurai because there's so much in this particular system, I don't want to overwhelm you, okay? So here it says long tail. So whether the phrase is long tail or not. So it's got a tick there, so it's a long tail because uh, you want to avoid using just like single words. You wanna be like quite descriptive um, with your items that you're selling. So, you know, for example, you wouldn't just type in ebook, right? ebook cover template it has like multiple words in it so it's better to use those kind of keywords okay we've got etsy search volume so this is this here tells me that there are over 2000 people on etsy uh, every month searching for this particular type of template which is that's pretty good now if we head over to etsy competition so this is the total listings on etsy um, that are using this particular keyword, there is only 2,472. So the Etsy competition is pretty low for this. Um, and there are quite a few people, as you can see here, searching for that. So to me, this would actually be a great um, digital product to consider selling. Now, if we head down here, we've got some information um, from Google, which I'm not going to really go into. Um, it is handy though, because you can actually see, you know, what people are typing into Google. Um, and then you can actually consider using some of the keywords that are being searched on Google. You can actually use that in your listings as well. So that's handy to know. Let's focus on the Etsy most trending keywords over here. 
So as you can see, ebook cover template. That's a strong keyword to use. Uh, ebook template cover. So all these keywords here that are showing up are related to uh, this keyword here that we typed in. So I would be using these keywords in my title. So what you could do from here is you could actually, and this is what I do, is I actually go and copy these keywords just to take note of them. So to do that in Sales Samurai, you just head over to the little copy button. We just click on that, open up um, a document somewhere and then just paste it in there just so you can keep track of um, you know all these great keywords so that when it comes time to making um, your title and creating your listing you have everything together and you can you know you can go through and choose which keywords are best for you so i'm just going to continue copying and pasting these keywords into my document and then when we scroll down we come to an area called listings and so this just gives you some information on the average views um, for listings that are using this keyword, average likes, average photos. Um, what I want to focus on though is uh, are these listings here that show up because these are the best selling items for that particular keyword. So what you want to study here is you want to have a look at these best selling uh, products here and you want to notice what are the similar keywords that they're using in their title. And already I can see ebook cover template, ebook cover template. Um, so I already know, okay, if I was to create this, the, my title will be starting with ebook cover template. Because you want to have those strong keywords, you want to have them at the very beginning of your title. Uh, ebook template, uh, editable, cover. So it's really handy as well. Like I don't need to actually take note of this because I already have done my research on this. So what I'm trying to get at here is you would want to actually take note of what the common keywords are. And then you want to also go in here and just um, take note and paste them in there. And if you guys are getting value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe. So this is how I would do all my, um, all my keyword research that would go into, you know, what my title is going to be and what tags I'm going to use. Okay. So if we head over to the right hand side where it says tags, these are the tags that are being used by the best selling items within um, this keyword here. So the tags, ebook cover template, ebook cover, ebook template, Canva template, ebook, ebook cover design, do it yourself, ebook cover. So what I would be doing once again, I would be copying all these tags and I would be putting them into a document. I might name that uh, tag so we don't get confused. And this one was for the title. Now, this does not mean this is what the title is going to be. These are just keywords I'm considering. I'm just taking note of everything. So ebook cover, we'll copy that one. And then what you can do from here is you can actually just um, click on this link here and it's going to take you straight into Etsy to that listing for you to actually, um, you know, have a proper look at, you know, their images and um, their description. You can have a read through their reviews. And that's really handy, um, you know, just for you to get a feel for what you're up against and, you know, how you might be able to present your listing. Um, keeping in mind, you never want to just copy and paste what other people are using as their titles or their descriptions. Um, I just don't think that's the right thing to do. And then if we scroll down here, this is just about pricing. So it just shows you um, the price, the minimum, maximum and average for listings using this keyword. And another way you can do some keyword research is let's just say um, you are on Etsy and you come across something and you're like, okay, this is a bestseller. For example, this one here, it's a bestseller. What you want to do is just uh, grab the URL. You want to copy it and then head back to Sales Samurai and see where it says single listing. Click on that and then you just want to paste that link in. Click on search. 
And now you're able to actually um, get further details into this bestseller item. So you can actually see the category that it is in, um, all this other detail about title characters, images, monthly views, which is good to know, uh, when it was created, the price of it. And you can actually now have a look at the tags that this best selling item is actually using. This is really, really handy. So you would go through and you would pick, take out a few of those tags. So you can, once again, you can actually copy. So you just copy, come over to your document, paste it in there. And that's another great way that you can find winning tags because best-selling items are uh, they generally they're generally doing something right. Um, you know, they're getting in front of a lot of people. So it's like, okay, what tags are they using? This is you know, you can do that so easily within Sales Samurai, and that's what I love. I like this particular feature, the single listing feature. I like that because you know, you could just be scrolling through Etsy and you'll come across something and you'll be like, oh what's this? Maybe I could make it. And then, you know, you go into Sales Samurai, do a little bit more research and it just, it helps you put things together so much more easier and faster. And remember, this is not copying. You're not going to be like flat out copying their title uh, or copying every single tag they're using or copying their, um, you, you know, their listing description like absolutely not I know there are a lot of people on Etsy who do that and I always see people who have just like copied and pasted my um my everything and I'm like oh my gosh like how can people do that so yeah I highly recommend you don't do that uh, this is just a great feature to actually just make your keyword research and planning you know a successful listing so much more easier Okay, so now I want to go through how you can actually formulate a strong title for your Etsy listing and, um, you know, how to go about choosing those tags. So pretty much once you've pasted all those uh, keywords in there, you want to go through and pick the best ones for your particular listing. So and you want to keep. You want to keep at the front of your title, the, the strongest, the best keywords. So for example here, let's just go back, ebook cover template. So I'm want, you'd wanna have this at the very beginning of your title, okay? Followed by ebook template cover, and then uh, Canva ebook cover template. Uh, you could throw in uh, ebook cover, But then that's why it's so handy to have these listings here, which are showing you, okay, these are the best selling ones. How have they done their titles? Like what words are they using at the beginning of their titles? So study that as well. And then don't forget to grab these tags here because these are the tags that the best selling items um, for that keyword are using. Pop them all into a document. And then for tags, Etsy allows you to use 13 tags. So you want to choose 13 of those tags. Make sure you utilize all of them. And you also want to add in your tags. You want to be descriptive with what your item is as well. So maybe it's a black ebook cover or maybe it's an ebook cover for like, you know, beauticians or it's a side hustle ebook cover. You want to like add in extra descriptive words in your tags as well. You also want to include in your tags uh, keywords from your title. And when it comes to your actual listing description on Etsy, you want to scatter all these keywords and tags throughout your listing description as well. This will all help to get your products shown in the Etsy search. And if you guys love this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to learn more about selling on Etsy and if you want to learn how to create and sell digital products and Canva templates.